Hello, Nerdfighteria, John and Hank. I just wanted to thank you all for being so interested in Gussie Horsey and her amazing story. Starting that thread was my very first post in your pants, and I never imagined it would blossom like it did with so many nerdfighters so eager to help out and find out what really happened. I'm thrilled that we found Gussie, and I'm even more excited that we're not done mapping out her life. Right now, there are still nerdfighters scouring digital archives looking for more concrete evidence of her marriage to Charles Gowen and of her daughter Mary. It's just awesome. <laughs> but I'm just as excited about all of the theories about Gussie's life that will never be more than theories. From realistic ones like why she and Charles got divorced, to hilarious ones like her being a Time Lord. I love that there's a group of nerdfighters working to put together a collaboration of short stories about Gussie, and I hope that it happens, and that the proceeds of that book go to charity or some other great cause. Lastly, I'm amazed at how much we were able to find from the comfort of our own homes just by sitting at our computers. So many pieces of local information, from newspaper articles to marriage records, have been scanned and uploaded to databases, all maintained by libraries and archives. And the fact that some of that information is lost forever because of damage or destruction is just heartbreaking. We need to take steps to try and preserve our history, whether it happened a hundred years ago or yesterday. Digitization efforts are happening not just with things like Google Books, but with libraries as small as mine here in South Dakota. Life is made up of a series of stories. We were able to find Gussie's again, and that's amazing. And a hundred years from now, I hope that people are still interested in stories like Gussie's, stories like ours, and will take the time to find them. And I hope that, like us, they can. I'm going to go figure out how to cite a speech in APA now. DFTBA.